Hi guys, it's May. Welcome back to my channel. So today what I want to share with you guys are some of my favorite books that I've recently picked up. Um, we were just on vacation for a week and there was a Barnes & Noble down there and we go there quite frequent and we go there quite, quite frequently with my family. It's one of my mom and dad's favorite things to do. We love to take the baby and let her pick out, you know, a story and stuff like that. She's really interested in books and we read to her every single night. Um, so I also love to read, but don't get the chance really with, you know, chasing after her all the time. But I've been really loving these books and I wanted to share with you guys um, what they were. Now, when I go to the bookstore, I normally tend to gravitate towards kind of like fitness and like books like that, that talk about, you know, healthy eating and kind of a healthy lifestyle. I don't always follow it 100%. If I want, you know, if I'm on vacation, I want to have ice cream, I will. Um, but I am really interested in the topic and I love reading about it. So the first one on my list is the Every Girl's Guide to um, Diet and Fitness by Maria Menounos. She's a rock and body. Um, she's, she was a host on Extra for a while. I don't know if she's still on that or not. But I also have her first book, um, The Every Girl's Guide to Life, and I really liked it a lot. Um, she's got a lot of great pictures in it, celebrity interviews. Um, she has really good tips on kind of how to work out but not really work out. Just basically lead a healthy lifestyle and it gives a lot of backstory about her and her family. Um, which if you've ever seen her TV show, you kind of already have a sense of who she is and her family and stuff like that. Uh, but I just think she's really pretty and I do think she is really relatable and I love her style of how she writes her books. Um, and I thought it was really informative. Some great information, especially if you're new to like eating healthy and kind of figuring out, you know, good foods versus bad foods and what's, you know, nutritious and what you should be filling your diet with. I think this is definitely really interesting and it also has that kind of celebrity factor to it, but she is very relatable. Um, so this book was $22 in Barnes & Noble. I scanned it on Amazon and it came to like $13. So I ended up ordering this one off Amazon. Got it in two days, free shipping because I have Prime. Um, so definitely check out Amazon.com for this book and you'll save some money on that one. The next book that I have recently picked up probably a month and a half, maybe two months ago, um, was Cupcakes and Cashmere. And this is by Emily Schumann and she is a blogger and this book is just really pretty and cute. Um, I also bought this off Amazon. I forget what I paid for it. The list price is $19.95 but I don't think it costs that much. Um, she talks a lot about style, kind of home decor, basically, you know, how to, how she leads a stylish life and what her, you know, tips are for dining, throwing parties, stuff like that. Um, it's definitely an easy read. It's not, you know, challenging by any means. None of these books are. They're not like, you know, intense novels or anything like that. But these are the kind of books I like. They're pretty, you know, they're interesting to me. These are the types of things I'm interested in. Um, so I found this book really cute and... I'm really happy I have it in my collection and I think it's something great that you can refer back to. It gives you a lot of information on like seasonal pieces that you should have in your wardrobe, kind of how to mix and match, accessories, stuff like that. So if you're like a fashionista and you like stuff like that, I think you would find this one interesting. The next book I have is Girl, hashtag Girlboss. Um, this is like all over everywhere. It's a really good book. I took the cover off of it just because my daughter will take it off and I lose them anyway. So I always take the covers off my hardback books. Um, but this is by Sophia Amoroso and she is the owner of Nasty Gal, which is um, an on online retailer if you guys have never heard of it. And this book was really interesting. I have a marketing degree so I have a background in business and I love kind of reading about women who start their own businesses and who are really motivated and I love kind of seeing, you know, she kind of was working so hard and now has this amazing company and I just kind of love seeing success stories especially with like younger women. I just think it's such an amazing time for women right now opening their own businesses and with social media. Um, I just, it's really interesting to me and I love reading about, you know, how businesses get started and how they grow from, you know, something in your garage that's really small to, you know, a multi-million dollar corporation. I think it's really interesting and amazing. So I found this book extremely interesting. It's really motivational in kind of a non-traditional way. And I just think she speaks really well to kind of our generation. And I loved it. It was really great, really quick read. 
and perfect if you know you are have spare time in between classes or you're interested in fashion or anything like that or starting your own business or you're interested to see how you know an entrepreneur started their business it's definitely interesting and I would highly recommend it um, the next book I've had for a long time but it's one of my favorites and it's the eat clean diet by Tosca Reno and I have a ton of her books probably four of them and all of them are really great when I first started learning about you know clean eating and how to eat healthier and make smarter choices with my food this was the first book that I picked up and it's just so informative and easy to read tons of colored pictures um, how to incorporate your family she gives you you know vegan options vegetarian options you know if you eat meat everything um, you know the do's and don'ts just a bunch of recipes just it's a really really great book um, the eat clean diet any of these books are amazing um, I have the thicker version one too I think it's downstairs in my kitchen but so she's always in oxygen magazine and that's like my favorite health and fitness magazine so I love these books and if you guys are interested in like you know nutrition or diet and fitness or anything like that I highly recommend this um, any of these books like I said I think I have four of them she has a ton of books you can check on Amazon or I mean I just order everything off Amazon because it's easy but you know Barnes and Nobles has it books a million I'm sure will have it she has a website as well um, but I would definitely check this out if you're interested in clean eating or how to make a healthy lifestyle change she makes it really easy and kind of lays everything out really simplistically and it makes it very easy to understand and follow along and I found it very helpful when I started on you know my healthy eating journey so I would definitely recommend that one and an oldie but goodie is the skinny bitch now even if you're not going to become a vegan I think that this book is still really informative it tells you a lot about the meat industry the dairy industry um, I kind of bounce back and forth between eating meat not eating meat I was vegetarian for over a year and a half and then when I got pregnant I started eating meat again just because I was craving it um, but then I gained 90 pounds and then I'll get into like my whole weight loss story in another video but I love this book and I think it's very informative totally opened my eyes to like a bunch of gross stuff I mean if it tells you all about the meat industry the dairy industry just it's very interesting and I definitely recommend reading it even if you don't think you could ever give up meat or dairy or anything like that I think it's good to inform yourself on what you're eating and what you're putting in your body and it just I thought it was a really great read and it's funny they kind of have a no-nonsense way of telling you like what's up and what's really going on um, but you know in any case or any book definitely make you know your own decision read as much as you can if you're interested in these topics and don't just go on one person's view I you know kind of read a different spectrum like Tosca is you know she still incorporates meat and stuff and like that in her diet but they don't so really I just suggest educating yourselves read from different authors who have different points of view and then you make the decision based on your family your lifestyle what you think is gonna work best for you so like I said sometimes I was vegan for like six months and I really liked it I lost more weight I felt really like I had slimmed down but now I'm back to eating fish again so and there's really no rhyme or reason I just if I feel like I need a change then I switch it up and I'll probably go back to eating vegan you know in a couple months but it just you have to listen to your body and do what's best for you so those are just some of the books that I love and I always go back to so I wanted to share that with you guys I know it's not really beauty related but I feel like being you know beautiful is from the inside out feeling great if you have any suggestions that are similar to the ones that I shared definitely leave them in the comments below and thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you in the next video bye